Hello and welcome to the OpenSAP course Building Apps with the ABAP RESTful Application Programming Model. Week 4, Unit 4, Creating the Business Object Projection. My name is André Fischer and I'm Product Manager for SAP Cloud Platform ABAP Environment and SAP Gateway. This is the fourth unit of Week 4. In this unit, we will create the projection of the data model and the behavior definition of our business object. You can create several projections of the same business object, so you can reuse the implementation of your business objects for several applications, where some of them might only offer a subset of functionalities. Looking at the dev flow, we are in the yellow highlighted projection layer. Let's start with the demo. At the end of this demo, we will have created and defined the business object data model projection for the travel and the booking entities. And you will have defined the business object behavior projection for both entities as well. The projection layer is the first layer in the development flow of the ABAP RESTful programming model that is service specific. The projection layer contains service-specific fine-tuning, which does not belong to the general data model layer, for example, UI annotations, value helps, calculations, or defaulting. The projection layer also enables one business object to be exposed in an OData service for a fewer UI and for a stable web API. Since web APIs do not need UI annotations, they are not being implemented in the corresponding projection. We will have a look into web APIs in week five. Using projections, you can also manage a role-based access. Whereas one service would allow to create, update and delete data, a different projection might only allow to approve or reject a request. Let's start with adding a projection layer on our CDS interface views. We can right click on the CDS interface views for travel and booking and use the new wizard to create projection views that have our interface CDS views as a data source. So we press next, choose a transport request, and here we choose the template define projection view. And press finish. Here we have to add the root keyword and we start to add several annotations. We start to make the CDSU searchable. And make the agency ID and the customer ID the default search elements. We then add value help annotations for agency and customer ID. As well as for the currency code. We also have to maintain additional information to the booking entity that this is uh, based on a composition, points to a composition child. Here we get an error message since the projection view for the booking does not yet exist. We now create a projection view for the booking entity, for the child entity.
press next, choose a transport request. And again, we choose the template defined projection view. We also make this CDS view searchable and add annotations for default search element for travel ID and booking ID. We then add value help definitions for several fields such as customer ID, the carrier ID, which is called airline ID in the CDS view carrier. Please note that the element name is different from, from it. For the connection ID, we have additional bindings so that if we select a certain connection, the other fields in the UI would be up updated automatically as well. Finally, we add a search up for the currency code. And we have to add information to the travel association that it points that it's a redirect to a parent entity. Now we can activate both the projection view for travel and for booking data, and we select this activate all. Part of the projection layer, in case you want to implement a service for UI-based consumption, are the metadata extensions. Metadata extensions contain UI-specific annotations, and they have been invented to separate the UI-based annotations from the projection views. So we right-click on our newly created projection view for travel and select new metadata extension. the name, we choose the same name as the uh, projection view. Press next, next, and here we choose annotate view. As the metadata layer, we choose core. We add annotations for the header and for the presentation variant, which defines the default sort order. And we add several annotations. So we will hide the administrative fields and add line item identification annotations so that the fields are shown in the list and object page. So we still see an error here that the metadata allow extension annotation is missing in the in the projection view which is to be annotated here we can simply press control one and use the quick fix that this annotation is now added to the base view we activate this again can go back to our metadata extension view and can activate the same. We can do now the same for the booking projection view. So right click on it, choose new metadata extension. We also choose the same name here. Press next and finish. So we all we are by pressing finish we choose the same template as in the last uh, step. We choose the annotation core. Add annotations for header.
and add annotations again for a facet and we will hide for example the key field. Again we will get an error message that the uh, projection view for booking does not allow meta uh, to be extended with metadata extensions. So again we choose the quick fix, activate the metadata extension view and can now activate the metadata extension. The last object we have to create on the projection layer is a projection for our behavior definition. For this we right click on the data definition for travel or from the projection layer and choose new behavior definition. So everything is pre-filled, we just have to press next because this time the implementation type projection is pre-selected. And what we have to do is we have to add an alias. And we will add the information that we in addition want to use the e tag. for both entities. As a recap, so we have created a data model projection. We have added search annotations. We allowed the use of metadata extensions. We added value help annotations and we specified that the booking association is a redirection to a composition child. Then on the metadata extension uh, side, we added annotations for headers for presentation variant and for facets that are needed in order to for the SAP Fiori Elements UI to be displayed correctly. And finally, we have created a projection of for our uh, behavior definition and we specified that we want to use the e-tag and the standard operations create update delete and also the create enabled association. In this unit, you learned how to define the business object data model projection and the business object behavior projection for the travel and the booking entities. Now we are at the end of the unit. Thanks for listening and see you in the next unit. There we will talk about building and previewing the OData UI service.